Hey, it's JC1424 once again with the beginning of a NASCAR 06 Total Team Control career mode. As a local race car driver that did race in NASCAR and ARCA, and load up this game save from whenever I did the, the DEI season mode. Oh, and they got this copyrighted music in the background. I don't know, I'll just dispute that. And then maybe not even get the money, despite the, the length of the video and all these races that we're about to do. Okay, but there's this guy from Westlake, Louisiana, that um, I've never met before. Somehow I've never met this guy, despite watching NASCAR all my life and having gone to a bunch of races. He has one win in ARCA, and he drove some crap in trucks in the, the Bush series. I think that's, or maybe it's called the Nationwide series back when every race. First name is Mikey, and this game has a lot of lag in it. His last name is Kyle, but with the I. I have never seen um, the name Kyle spelled an I until this guy. Yeah, he got one Arca win at Michigan International Speedway in 2010. I think he was 22 years old when he started his, his stock car racing career, because he's 39 now, I believe, and his stock car racing career started in 2005. At least according to Wikipedia, you know, that freaking website. It's moderately uh, reliable. Let's go ahead and type Westlake and all that. How fast can I type? This is like, this is not even important to the freaking video. I mean, you've got the point. I told you who racing as, and I'm gonna try to recreate his career, um, make it more adventurous, take it further through the ranks of NASCAR. Westlake is not in Florida, but I mean, Louisiana, Florida, same thing. They both get destroyed by fucking hurricanes. I lived in Westlake for one month, and then the apartment got destroyed by a hurricane. Uh, I'd say he has an average body type. The the heads, the freaking heads are all awful. And I'd say almost cartoon-like. Are they like tin heads? Yeah, I'll just go with one, and some like, not, not Puerto Rican or whatever that is. No. Something, yeah, I guess like that. Is there a better one? Like less pale? Run out of ideas over here. Uh, yeah, sure. That that's close enough. Oh my God, Alex, would you shut up? This guy sent me like five damn messages. I'm trying to record a video. Okay, what I was trying to say is, in all my years of playing NASCAR 6 Total Team Control, I've noticed you can compete on the highest difficulty, but only if you have the driving assist turned on which they hit the brakes for you to help the car steer more, keep it from getting loose. Alex won't stop texting me. Anyways, I figure we're better off dumbing down the AI and turning the assists off because that's more challenging. I tested it yesterday before recording this now, and yeah, it was it was really something. More challenging career mode. We're going to do 12% race length. We're going to have the tire wear and, and fuel consumption on. Uh, the damage, normal, yellow flags... We got a message. What's the message? What's going on, buddy? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ace Moneymaker Super Agent. And I'm going to be right by your side all the way through to the top of the next Hell Cup series. Making money with you all the way, baby. Because Ace needs his 10%. Now, I've worked out a deal for you with Everham Motorsports. Driving the number 19 wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get the point. We're going to hear, hear from him all the freaking time. And there's all these little small little cutscenes. Ace is like the best part of everything. And then they quieted him down in like NASCAR 08 and 09 on the PlayStation 2. Now, before you ask, it's not on a freaking emulator. I've never used an emulator in my life. I've never put mods into a game. I've downloaded DLC, there's that. But uh, yeah, we're going to go to the race shop. Uh, before I view contracts, I'm going to go to buy team. I want to see what like the least expensive thing is. 151000 for Zephyr Motorsports. And as I scroll, they should get more and more expensive. So what is the most expensive? Team Hiromi, 669000 I checked this during testing, like just yesterday, and the least expensive truck series team is more than that. So that's just a fun fact for you guys. It costs more than any team here to start a truck series team. But yeah, I don't have any money right now. I have zero dollars to my name. How the heck did I wind up in NASCAR with no money to my name? This is where it all begins. Yeah, there's Evernham. Uh, we're gonna, they're going to give me $3,000. We get $3,500 per race. Oh, look, Mikey Kyle's in there. First race of the season is Richmond. The I can't read what the name of the race is. 
Welcome to the Whelan Modified Series. You've taken your first step towards building your racing career. The Whelan Series is your stepping stone to the big time. Working with your teammates to finish high in the standings and you'll earn bigger contracts to race with better teammates. Good luck. Better teammates? As if <laughs> freaking Bill Fuller is not good enough. Okay, let's see how I qualify. Oh, that's a good corner. And then I have no straightaway speed. Oh my god. You start at the bottom. And I just missed turn three. It's really freaking tight. I could do something to change that. Whenever you actually get into the field and you go race with those guys, you're able to keep up. And you just gotta time your moves. Time your passes. I'm gonna have to focus and not do much commentary in the video. And I wanna see if maybe I can get a top 10 in this first race. We're starting 22nd, that's a lot of cars to pass at a track that's this tight. This is one of the tighter, more competitive tracks. That's what I remembered whenever I was testing this one. Got a root beer car next to me. This guy is supposed to be dominating races and said he's starting right in front of me. That's Bill Fuller in the 192. And hey, I just got an amazing start and I'm tight as shit right now. This throwaway lap. It's a 17 lap race, it's not 18 laps. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Uh, that's gonna take me a while to find my fucking bearings. Oh, I'm there. I get great runs off of turn two, but then it stacks up and I ain't got nowhere to go. They are way faster in turn three, though. Now they just freaking take off. Ugh. There's the car they start in career mode with in, in NASCAR 08 and 09. The, the Not Me Mufflers car. Interesting name for a sponsor. Yeah, but now we're in the pack. Now we're doing it. I see another teammate up there. I don't remember what the hell it is they're driving. Oh, I think it's a Levi Strauss car. A pants car. They got a pants track in the game. They got a track named after pants. Which was Wrangler, not Levi Strauss. And as it is, I don't really care for jeans that much. You can't run in jeans. Oh my god, all my teammates are in the middle of the field. But yeah, we're up to 17th. Got a big old clunk of cars right here in front of us that I can work my way around. This is a really competitive track. This is one of the harder ones. I wouldn't say it's the hardest at all. That is reserved for towards the end of this first video of the series. I say career mode because that's what we always call it. What are you doing? You fucking buffoon. You caused a huge wreck. Idiot. I don't know. He checked up and then he rubbed his ass all over my face. Turn the car around! Turn it around! You know, I've never watched the NASCAR Wayland Modified Tour, but I know enough that they don't just not have cautions, and I don't know what stupid idea at EA Sports to just not have cautions. They got the fuel consumption and the tire wear, since we're driving modifieds, and uh, suddenly that was taken away too in the later games. Well, that's a clean pass on him. So we're not going to finish last. whoop the frickin' do I didn't finish any better whenever I was, was testing at Richmond for this, this first race right here yesterday. But I, I can say this much that I had better pace until shit went wrong. The, this one, if I wasn't talking, if, if I wasn't talking, maybe I would be prepared for this guy to check up and just wreck the whole field. So after that race, I have no serious rivals. Otherwise... They would be red. That dude right there, freaking Terry Green. He parked it in front of me, like hit the wall, and then I ricocheted into the infield. I mean, if you want to call that inside wall the infield, sure. Oh, what the heck is going to be at this scene? It's it's depression. That's what this, this is. It's depression for Mikey Kyle. Terrible start to the season. I think the second race of the season is at Milwaukee, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. I would say that's a good corner. Car is loose, but that's a good thing. And the game doesn't freaking care, man. I'm just I'm nothing compared to the AI for some reason. Mm. Well, it's not going to be last. Like 18th? 
Yeah, exactly 18. Got one more. Keep digging. And this lap was worse. Because I freaking missed turn one. I'm start from the outside. <laughs> uh, maybe I can find my way to the bottom, find a hole, something like that. I don't know. Uh, if I can finish ahead of all my teammates. One of them starting from first, so you want me to win the race? That's a fan support bonus. That don't mean shit. I need money to start my teams. Why well, I gotta start next to this dumbass? This is also an 18 lap race. I think almost all of them are. Maybe one is maybe like a 12 lap race. Why is the car not going? What did I do wrong? I didn't deserve this. Okay, I guess qualifying means absolutely nothing. And that was just a waste of time. Oh, but I'll get a runoff because I went so freaking wide. That's nice. I gotta do the focus. I gotta, you gotta focus if you wanna finish well. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, there's one teammate. Okay, getting this run back on the bottom. We're gonna move up to 17th. 16th even into turn one. See, this is much easier than Richmond was. I was getting somewhere at Richmond. Once I caught the field again. But then I got cut off and that ruined the whole race. Now my other teammates leading the race. See, they're both up there. I have to win the damn race to get the fan support bonus. Which I don't even know what that is. Am I, am I getting 11,000 fans for beating my teammates? I don't know. Honestly, I'd say this is kind of like an old rundown track whenever you look at the way the pavement looks. Um, it's, it's very white. It looks like it's a white track. Also, that inside wall in turn one is just freaking terrifying. You hit that dang thing and it just destroys your car. I'm tight. I can't get runs off and pass people anymore. I'm trying to use some draft. Oh, I did something right and then... Still went wrong. This guy's gonna come back and pass me. I feel like they're supposed to rubber band more and take it more easy on you whenever you put it on rookie difficulty, and they're just not doing that. So I close the gap, and then I lose him. It's like, oh, he's he's getting faster. Speed up, and then they stop speeding up. We'll move up into 14. What the heck is? I don't know. It's like it can't decide if it wants to turn. Would you get off my ass? I swear that's the, the stupid guy from last race. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm trying to drive my car underneath him, but like it does not have the mechanical grip to do so. I feel like these cars should have a ton of mechanical grip. Turn! Okay, here we go. Setting up for a nice runoff. There we go. Okay, can make it three wide. Fuck it. All right, well, it worked. That was nasty, but it worked. Uh, this runoff might put me in the top ten. Yes, it will. Oh, coming so close to that inside wall. Terrifying. Bill Fuller is falling back. And some 82 cars leading this race. Alright, what I should do, switch to him. And just uh, make him drop back so I can actually get my fan support bonus that they're offering me. Oh, his car is loose. Alright, well that's taken care of. I'll switch to this guy. I like how as soon as I take control, his car just stops working. That's how half-assed this game is. Uh, put the mirror on. And this guy's got to get around me. I'm waiting for me to get around me. Or Mikey Kyle to get around me. Whatever. Yeah, there I go. Oh, the car is so loose. Fucking junk setups. Alright. Now let's get back on it. Hey, look, I'm already sixth. I get a top five from this by putting my teammates behind us. Is that cheating? I feel like the game wants me to do that. Like, that's all I... Use the game. Use the features. Yeah, you missed the car setup. That's a great question. I can't believe they're just now asking that. And also, you got the crew chief keeps saying, like, uh, I'm gaining on the leader, but I'm actually losing on the leader every lap, so I don't know why he says that. I close in, then I lose him. 
I don't have the consistency. Like, I, sometimes it's striving worse. That helps me gain, and sometimes it's striving better. It's like rubber banding with, with game design. It's like, oh, he's not doing good enough. Make it easier on him or something. But, uh, yeah, that's a good finish. I wish I could have finished something like that at Richmond. Or at least pff, not at the back of the field there. But that's the kind of finishes I need to get to uh, win the championship. Or at least make money. All my teammates still like me. I didn't exactly increase any rivalries with this race. Now we have a positive cutscene here. I've, I've heard that music so many times throughout the years. This is this guy's piss from last race. This this guy. You could have done that last time. I'm doing it now. Bo Abraham is impressed because I passed the, the challenge thing. I got a angry driver. Hey, it's Ace. And if I'm gonna get angry phone calls, then you're gonna get angry phone calls. I don't know what you did to that guy out there, but he is livid. He wants an apology. He's livid? Well I'm I'm sorry. It's it's I, it wasn't my fault. It's the stupid green guy in the green and white car. It was that guy. I didn't do that. Contacts. Bo Phillips. Uh, if I can beat Matt Martin at the Appalachian 150, we'll get another fan support bonus. I don't want a fan support bonus. I want money. Next page. On to March. Third race of the season is Martinsville. So we have to finish in front of Matt Martin at Martinsville. Kevin Harvick wins the truck race. Dale Jr. wins the Bush Series race. Ryan Newman wins the Daytona 500. Ah, didn't bounce off that curb bad. Ooh, I mean, that, that was way better than the first lap. Just need to get not tight right here. And I get tight right here. Oh, and it just doesn't accelerate, and this lap was worse. Yes, I need a better setup, but I don't make setups. I just play video games because I'm a fucking nerd. Okay. And look, there, there's Mark Martin's son right there in front of us in the Gatorade car. I don't know if he even runs every dang race. Ugh, please turn. Fine, wreck the car on the first fucking turn. Like I freaking said, it doesn't matter where that could qualify if I get wrecked into the first freaking turn. You just you touch somebody because the car won't turn, and, and then it wrecks. And oh my god, the frame rate of Martinsville is so bad. It's painful to look at. I, I don't know what it is, but like, shit cuts down and the game falls apart in the front straightaway. Heck, even in the, the back straightaway it does sometimes. Ah, the curb is terrible. So, so much is terrible. Uh, uh, awful frame rate, awful, ew. Stop! Damn it! Enough with the curve! And you, you stupid Martin! Okay, we clear him. I hate this car. I hate these cars. Don't turn. Need better setup. One that turns but doesn't mean it spins out because it can turn better. It's like you can loosen the car up and then it spins out. It doesn't turn better. I want one that turns better, not just be loose. Most of the setups at the tracks are loose. You just don't realize it until you get out of control. So now we're back to climbing the field. Trying to make our way into the top five. And the entire eight races worth of testing I did yesterday, I was never able to finish in the top five. I mean, I didn't phrase that properly. I mean, I, I can finish top five. I just did it. There was always something to stop me. My teammate is blocking me. That's great. Move out of the way. I'm going places. Hey, look, there's the Walmart car again. And we're about to crack the top ten in a lap or two. Turn! You gotta get really tight, hit the center of the corner, and arc it back down to actually get it to turn. That's not exactly how Martinsville is supposed to go. You, you want your car to turn through the entire corner and then arc back up the track off of it, but you know, we're kind of taking this like Dover. We're diamonding the corner at Martinsville.
15 cars. Outside, outside. I don't know what the hell that sound was. You're like the drive-by sound? Why? Why would you be hearing drive-bys in the middle of a Martinsville race? Unless you're on pit road, we're not on pit road. This guy in the 190 car is dominating this thing right now. Mm. I wish the car was designed to downshift or something, but it doesn't have the horsepower for that to even be necessary. And I just sit through fourth gear, I step on it, and then I don't get a runoff or anything. There we go. That's what I want. He's decided to try blocking the entire track. No, you don't. Okay, just hold the bottom. There we go. So we got sixth last race. We'll finish eighth here. I don't know if it could have been a top five because I spent half the race just trying to pass that guy right there. Hey, look, Bo Abraham got a good run. And my other guys, they were just at the back. And now we have three new messages. Making my controller vibrate and all kinds of crap. Uh, some in email, some in contacts. I gotta try go kart racing. Okay, well, what did I do? I don't. I. Bo Phillips finished behind me, and you know, EA Sports don't know how to make a game. That's your new slogan. What's in the contacts? Bo Abraham is challenging us. Okay, if I can finish fifth or better at the Lehigh Valley 150, they'll give me 25,000. What's the Lehigh Valley 150? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I guess it was this next race. Uh, it's Nazareth. I almost finished top five whenever I was testing at Nazareth yesterday. But at the same time, this is a very ill-handling track. Here's the standings after... Three races, I think? I'm doing a terrible job of counting. Thomas Lewis is leading it. None of my teammates are in the top five. Bo Abraham is in the top ten. That's the guy I'd least expect to be doing this well. After what I saw yesterday when I was testing this style of gameplay. Which so far is going okay. And then I'm tied for tenth with Justin Haley's father. I don't know. Ricky Craven wins a truck race. Greg Biffle wins Vegas, I guess. Matt Kenseth wins some Bush Series race. Leach. Tommy Stewart wins Atlanta. Awesome guy. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know why I even do qualifying, man. Like, I don't know if it's a waste of time. Okay, hit the brakes. It does the same thing again! Fuck my ass! Oh my god, you don't need to steer like that. Just start the race all fine and dandy, please. Why? What? Man! This track sucks. And it's stupid. And the, the car sucks! Turn! Ugh! I'm, I'm, I fucked with this shit. Okay, hit the brakes. Let off the thrust. I hit the brakes, but I didn't hit it enough. They want you to slam the brakes and slam them hard and then get loose and spin out, apparently. The dang 190 car is dominating all these races. He did that at Martinsville. He's doing it now. Oh my god. Y'all are going so slow. Would you get out of the way? I'm wrecking loose because of you. Move! I hate everything. I hate this track. Ugh. Okay, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes again. Still driving up towards the wall. That's fine. Just step on it and get a good runoff. Now, I would cross over and pass the cars, but they're blocking me, so I wind up not doing anything I want to. But this... Move! Move your stupid bitch ass! This is why I can finish top five, because I can get runs off. 
But I hate this track, and I hate driving at it. I don't even like driving it that much at other NASCAR games. Yeah, but I can get a runoff right there. No! Oh, God damn it! I hate it! Can't turn any more than that. Y'all make me drive all the way down to the bottom of the freaking track just to get underneath you whenever I have this huge run. Like you're blocking me at a speedway. I mean, it would be a short track in other series, but it's modified, so this is just a speedway. Oh my god. I hate this turn. It's a bad turn. And the other turn that comes after the finish line is also bad. Unless I'm clear and I can do that. Get great momentum. Head into turn one. And then you don't cut me off. Okay. I should be in the top ten by now. Wasting laps. Just screwing around with these guys. Oh, he's talking about this, this Knight's car. I thought he was talking about the other guy. And that's not getting a run off the corner. That's just getting tight. Duck it onto the curb. He's going to block me and cut me off again. Move. I hate you. I hate all of you. Gosh, I'm, I'm capable of doing something like this every lap. Passing four cars in one turn. But they block, and they're, they're annoying. Okay, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. And you can't hold the inside of this godforsaken track. You, you just can't. So just let them all by you. I hate it. It's a terrible experience. And yet we're still more competitive here than other tracks like Richmond. It's like there's got to be some kind of silver lining to this track. It can't just be a good experience or bad. It has to be terrible, but then it's got to have something good to it. I don't know what I did wrong right there, but uh, hitting the brakes and slowing the car down did not get it to do what I wanted. Now I have a car to my inside. And we'll head over here. I'm trying. Yeah, just touch the grass, get a little extra slippery grip, up to 11th. Yeah, just hit the brakes. Still not doing it right. Don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not doing it right. I wish there would stop being cars to my inside because of how awful this thing handles. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I close this gap into turn one. Got a little too greedy right there, and now the whole corner is ruined. Okay, we're gonna be halfway this time. I'm trying to get turn one right. See, that's right for my car. Whenever you have someone on your outside, you're just gonna hit them. And we got this stupid blue car in the way, so I can't duck it under the freaking curb. Okay, get underneath them. Come on, rotate, baby. There we go, into the top ten, finally. Just gotta pass five more cars. I can win this thing, I can win this thing, I can win this thing. Oh, that's the best I've taken that turn yet, but I didn't get the runoff because I didn't actually throttle it up to the wall. I took it right, like they do, and that's what you get with that. The ninth. Oh, gonna get sideways, and then arc back to the inside. We get a runoff underneath this Coffee Blast serial car. Yeah, Coffee Blasts. Ugh! Ugh! You see, I, I, my car can't do it. It's like Michigan and Thunder 04. It does this thing where, like, it can't turn like theirs do in that corner. This stupid Coffee Blast car! Dude! You're making it- You're making me suck! Stop it! Okay, good turn, good turn. Fine, still a good turn. Got like five laps, past four cars. Sometimes I can pass two cars in one corner, who knows. Okay, gonna send it on him. I'm in the grass. I'm gonna have to use him up right here. Well, I'm. yeah, I, I decided to use him up and physics didn't like it. Would you rotate your bitch ass camera? Fuck you, game. Just like I said, it's it's so very possible to get a top five, and I fuck it up every time. It's so hard. Something always goes wrong. Something always stops me. They're right there in front of me, despite the fact that I just did a whole freaking 360, including the leader. He's right there in front of me. But now we got one lap to go. Might pass one or two cars, or none. And he's trying to block me, so he's ruining his own corner to do that. 
Oh, yeah, I'm going to arc it underneath them. Yeah, there's one car. That'll be eight. Yeah, I would have gotten a top five if I took, like, one turn better and didn't ricochet off the gray car. The gunmetal gray RDA throttle car. Whatever that dang thing is. As you get later in the race, the car starts to get a little more free because the rear tires are worn. Which, I don't know exactly how this track is wearing down the rear tires. That freaking Brady Riley. I, I ruined my race using him. And uh, we're at 20000 in the bank now. So did my teammate win or something? What's going on? Oh, it's this thing again. We have another new three messages. I didn't get that top five that I was supposed to get, so they're going to call me names and stuff. Really could have used that bonus. Yeah, try harder. I should try go-kart racing. Even though I probably finished in front of your dumb ass. Uh, wh wh what is... What is that? I saw something. Oh, I may get a raise soon. Am I really doing that well? I want. I don't want a raise. I want a better car so I can make more money on the track. <laughs> but a raise would also be nice. Hey, I don't know what you're doing out there, but you need to keep doing it because your fans are going crazy. I got four bags full of fan mail here for you. I gotta tell you, some of these pictures are pretty interesting. The pictures are interesting. Mike and Kyle, you got four bags of fan mail. How big are the bags, though? Let's go back and take a look at the point standings. We might be in the top ten now, since we finished eighth there. Uh, no. I fell away from the top ten by finishing in the top ten. Points are a tricky thing. Let's go to Levi Strauss. I think that's the tiny little triangle track. Dale Jr. is leeching the Bush series. Ryan Newman's leeching the Bush series. <clears throat> oh, I had a sneeze and then it didn't happen. Greg Biffle won Bristol. Ryan Newman is still leeching the Bush series. And Tony Stewart won whatever that race was in the Cup series. Go through here full throttle. Got a big old thing of pants on display. Just let off right there a little bit. Ugh, tight. But... Yeah, 14th. I don't want to start on the outside. Oh, that was a great turn one. Still in contention to get the pull, maybe. Okay, but probably not. Okay, just let off. Stupid mirror goes on and off with the freaking analog stick. Oh, my God. Third. Oh, my God. We're on the inside row. And we're right up front. I could win this race. I don't think I'm going to win this race. <laughs> but uh, I could. So we have terrible starts, so I don't know what to expect. Freaking RDA throttles right there next to me. Yeah, there's the awful start. Yeah, they just do not give you the launch that you, you need. Oh my god, we're loose because we're not up to speed yet. And we're already back to fifth. But we got a lot of time to make shit happen. Fucker, I'm trying so fucking hard for no reason. I keep hitting the damn outside wall because I'm pushing it to the freaking max. I'm pushing it harder than it can go. Ugh, it's just not letting me close that gap and get near him and do something. If I did, I'd probably fuck up. No, it's not. Shut up, you stupid bastard. Why would you say something like that? You not see me slam the damn thing into a wall? Whenever I'm not hitting the wall... I'm hitting every mark just perfectly and not getting enough out of it. But we finally get a top five. <laughs> Mike and Kyle gets a top five in the Wayland Modified Tour. Glad that stat is taken care of. At least we have one. Mm. I'm hurting my hands playing this game. Okay, so we're at almost 26,000 in the bank. No new messages. 
No new races this month. Ah, uh, yeah, that that's Old Spice. That is the road course track. I can win that. I definitely can. I would just have to run a a good race, not freaking wreck the car or wreck into someone. I could probably start on pole if I wanted to. But let's check the standings right here. About 12 points behind Ned Shannon is the guy that just won that race, Alan Walker. I don't know why I'm paying attention to this. Oh my god, I just jumped from like 11th to 7th? Oh my goodness. So I'm the best performing driver on the team. I was like the worst performing driver whenever I was practicing this shit. Oh my god, Bo Phillips 14th. Bo Abraham and Bill Fuller, 18th and 19th. This guy, he was leading the standings whenever I was testing, and he's 19th. Ricky Craven wins in the Truck Series again. Mark Martin wins in the Cup Series at uh, Texas. Interesting. Tony Stewart wins, I guess, a race at Martinsville in the Cup Series. Ryan Newman's leeching in the Bush Series. Ryan Newman is still leeching in the Bush Series. This is some bullshit. Jeff Gordon wins the Aaron's 499, Talladega. Oh my god! Look at this page! We got a top five! We ain't got any wins! I'd say the, these first two turns right here are the hard ones. Everything else I don't have much of a problem with. Unless I'm in traffic and they help me screw it up. But let's just duck in right there, hit the brakes. Good angle. It's going to rock it right back up to the top of the ticker. And then this hairpin. Just slow it down a bunch. And then right back onto the throttle. And we're in contention to get the pull, but we're going to lose speed in the straights because they all got more horsepower than us. Horsepowered modified series. And then you got this hairpin, which we can do really good in. Oh! I probably should have slowed down a bit quicker than that. Ugh, ninth. Maybe I'll be better this time. Or maybe I'll hit the guardrail over there. That can happen if you're trying too hard. Oh my goodness. And, it, well, yeah, just throw it in the trash. <laughs> we'll have to pass some cars. <laughs> these, these guardrails, and you want to apex that corner, you're better off just hitting the brakes and then letting it unload off. So, we haven't got any freaking skill points or whatever to worry about. We just need to pass a bunch of cars and then win the race. And this thing's going to start getting loose towards the end because of the tire wear. Now, this makes sense to have rear tires getting worn and front tires. Okay. Oh, God, I hate going to this turn in traffic. Oh, they parked it. Squeeze through. Oh, what, what, what are they doing? All the way down to the inside? I don't freaking know. Yeah, let's get on throttle and clear that guy. Already up to fourth. And the guy in the red, blue, and black car over there, he's driving away. Got my teammates sitting in third. See, they're having a good race. Make up some points. God dang it, dude. I'm trying to just stay behind you and push you past him, really. Now, this is definitely our best track. We just gotta not screw up. It's... Kind of easy to screw up here, but for the most part, it's a lot more to the other tracks where you're traffic and you get so tight just trying to be competitive. But we're going for the lead right here. This is the first time we've gone through the lead all season. I'm going to make a crossover mood. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. And new leader, Mikey Kyle at the Old Spice High Endurance Speedway. I think that's what it's called. Actually, I don't know why I said I need to drive good whenever I could just drive as my teammate that's all the way at the back of the field and I can help him climb his way through. Yeah, play the game. Make content. I, I'm i so desperate. I just want to start driving and it's like we're in the middle of a turn and I, I don't want to wait. And I press the X button and suddenly the car just stops driving properly. Okay, so we're going to slip past this dude. My teammates' cars will not drive the same as my car. They'll be more loose most of the time. I don't know if any of them are ever like tighter than my car. But yeah, they always drive different than yours, different setups. Which is, that's kind of cool, I guess. Now, let's not wreck my teammate, make him finish worse. Look at the speed on this thing! How come I don't 
still have this speed. I mean, I know it's a different track, but I, I don't feel like I get the speed at the ovals. Like, I feel like they do. I don't. I never actually took the time to see if they actually have more speed. All I did was make them drop back so I could finish ahead of them. Yeah, we're going to try to get him up to second. And then other teammates up to third and fourth, whatever. I guess. Oh, my God, it's loose. There is a guy underneath me, but my spotter wasn't doing his job. Turn the car around. Please turn the car around. Who are we switching to? Oh, okay. Uh, better say the freaking 192 car. Like, I, I can't deal with that guy now. He's way off at the back of the field. I can't do anything with him. I don't have much I can do to improve this guy's finishing position. He was already sixth, which is decent. Move. Make it easier for me. Fine. We'll wreck that guy, too. Just go back to myself. Ah! They give their cars more speed, but they make them very, very light and prone to spinning out. So I'm just freaking useless. Like, I can lead a race or I can finish terrible, but I can't switch to a teammate's car and make them finish better. I make them finish worse. And I could, that's exactly what I did whenever I was trying to finish better, get my top five. Finish ahead of them. Yeah, I just made them drop back. That's what I did right here. So, Mikey Kyle wins his first Nax car sanctioned race in the Wheeland Modified Tour. Okay, so now we're seeing some smoke. And it's not stupid smoke, it's victory smoke. Yeah, more smoke! A lot of smoke! That's nice. Can't wait to do that again sometime. Don't know what race it'll be at, but we'll be able to do it again sometime. Um, all I have is allies. I mean, I guess I made some clean pass at the start of the race. Now we're at $32,000. And this is going to be our first time going to Victory Lane. Well, I mean, I guess we went there for our teammate at some point. I don't remember. We got some messages. You can congratulate me on my win. Uh, Yeah, they're both at the phone. Yes! Hey, Zace. Just called to let you know you've been doing a great job out there. A little positive affirmation for you. Keep it up. Well, I won a race. You're not telling me congratulations on the win, butthole. And we got a hero level up. Hey, dude, you are a real hero out there. Oh, that's just because like of sharing draft and passing cars clean. I haven't shared draft at all. I just make clean passes. Should have moved up. Oh my goodness, I'm on the first page. We're sixth. We're tied for fifth with Alan Walker. Alan Walker was just battling for the points lead. Could I win this championship? I mean, yeah, it looks possible, but all these guys are here to like just start finishing the back and be inconsistent. All right, what about my teammates? I probably just made them suffer even further. There's Bo Phillips in 12th. And the other two, 18th and 19th still, I guess. Well, let's sim some events and go to UPS. We're going to send it on nobody. Ryan Newman wins the Dodge Charger race. That sounds rigged. Tony Stewart wins the Bush Series race at Talladega because he's a leech. Tony Stewart wins another Bush Series race. What the hell is with you guys? Ryan Newman goes back to back in the Cup Series at Richmond. Bobby Hamilton. Yes! It's a Truck Series race. I like Bobby Hamilton. He ain't no leech. And then Kevin Harvey wins in the Truck Series. Cheese Wheel 200. What? And Ryan wins a Bush Series race at Richmond. Oh, and this page. Yeah, we got a win on this page. We have two top fives on this page and five top tens. Looking good. Could be better, though. It ain't gonna get better from this race. I know that for sure. Yeah, car is tight. Ugh. Right up towards the wall. Okay, tap them brakes. Ride the white line. Well, we ain't gonna start last. Yeah, 16th. Can I make this one better? Ugh, it's so tight. I mean, I think that was a better turn. Probably not, though. Oh, oh, okay. So, 16th it is. Which is on the outside, and they always have way better starts than us, so we're just going to drop to the back. That's what I think is going to happen. We're going to just drop to the back. I don't want to start on turn. Okay, yeah, we'll start on a straight. Let me, like, try to get to the inside. I don't know. And they're all just driving right past me. Dude, what is this? What is this shit? 
Okay, I want to get to the inside. Yeah, I'm clear, but I'm letting off the gas and the car's not going down. There we go. Right. I'm trying to go back around this guy and get the spot back. I have no expectations for this race. I ran last the entire time whenever I was testing. <laughs> like, it was worse than Richmond. Richmond was pretty damn rough. For quite a while. Oh, they could just get so much more front end grip and more acceleration off the corner. Turn, stupid fucking whore. Yeah, just shrug it off. I, I'm in a race car. How do you shrug something off in a race car? And I get dumped for deciding to clear him, and I hate this fucking race. Oh, look! The Walmart car blew up. That means I don't have to finish last. My tires are shot, specifically the rears. But yeah, whenever you wreck out and all that shit and you fall way behind, they let you catch up. Whenever you get into the pack, it's like impossible to pass people and be competitive. My teammate... I don't know what... I guess my teammate finished the race, so they put a little X on his name. And he finished... Yeah, we're gonna have a good finish. This is from our teammates now. We got a message. Email. I've been given a raise. Yay. That is great. I can check the race shop and see how much I'm getting paid now. Uh, I click that one. So it goes from 3,500 to 4,300 something. So I mean, yeah. Here's the standings after that race. Thomas Lewis back to the points lead. I'm not on the first page anymore. Oh, okay, but I'm still seventh. 86 behind. I feel like I just lost like 50 points on the leader from that race. Ugh. I feel like my main problem was the fact that I just couldn't get it to turn. I don't feel like I was lacking much straightaway speed at that track in particular. Well, was the next race our seventh one or something? Why are we still on this page? We're going to June. Uh, this is the eighth race of the episode. Okay, it's the halfway point of the season after this race. So yeah, this will be the last one of the video. For like an hour long video or something. But this is Dodge Raceway. This is the football stadium track. Tony Stewart's leeching in the Bush Series. Carl Edwards wins the Coca-Cola 600. Sick. Some guy I went to school with won the truck race. Ryan Newman still leeching and dominating the Bush Series. Jimmy Johnson wins a race at Dover, I guess? I don't know. Okay, good corner, good corner. Ugh, it's tight. Just get back on the throttle. Go, go. Shit, it's not good enough. Just step on it. All the way, it just unloads off the corner. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Step on it, go, go! Maybe a little bit better. Okay, 11th. That's on the inside. That's important. Oh my god, whenever I was testing, I started 8th which is on the outside, never mind you. And I just got passed by everyone in turn one because they have these like ridiculous EA Sports hacked restarts and whatever. So I need to maintain position at the start and we could probably win this race or at least get a top five. But yeah, if you're starting 11th, you can get a top five. Okay, hold the line, don't overseer or whatever. Don't, don't run me over. Yeah, I got pushed out of the way whenever I started testing. Okay. Now, the start's over. 17 laps to go already. Oh, my God. This guy would stop riding my butt. I can move forward. I got cars on my outside, so I can't drive off. Wow, I done lost a freaking spot as soon as I started the race. I didn't even realize that. Ah! Motherfucker! I'm trying to get it to turn. I'm trying to get some to go, and I can't. What's the point of putting on rookie difficulty? It's not easy in the slightest, man. Like, that's, that's something so fucked about this game. Ugh. Send it into the corner. Okay. I'm gonna pass my teammate and shove him out of the way without even trying to. Can I please make some moves? You know, they were just side by side in front of me for ages, and I never even got to them. Playing ring around the rosy, lap after lap. And finally, 
We get underneath somebody. Ugh. Get off. Go away. Get another one off this corner. They're all stacked up together like they were whenever I was testing. They're running like full speed. And they get more out of their cars than I do. But we're in the top ten. That's what I was aiming for. Now we're on the last lap of the race. And they are stacking up right here. Now maybe I can make something happen in this final corner. Ah! I'm a nutcase. Ah! And for eighth place. Uh, we're going to nudge this blue guy out of the way. I mean, he got his pass in. He was trying to pass that guy, and he did. Hey, Bo Phillips wins. Good stuff. Nice way to end the episode. I thought I was going to sit in 12th place the entire time. But I, I was in the zone. My hands hurt. And now we're about $42,000. And we're going to get to go to victory lane with Bo Phillips. I can't believe we have two teammates named Bo, and, like, they're spelled differently. I have a new message. It's a cup thing. I'm eligible for a cup thing. It is a showdown against the rival I just made. That's a cup thing. The shit. Jeff Gordon. Okay, that's not my rivalry. I don't even know Jeff Gordon. My career is really taking off. You want to prove yourself? You can take him on. Go one-on-one. -on -one. Where? Speedway Boulevard. Okay, that's like a, a Daytona night road course thing that goes outside the track. Uh, I think without the driving assists, I could outrun Jeff Gordon. We'll just have to wait and find out. I mean, I might want to turn up the difficulty to legend for that. Who knows? Well, then I might lose. That would suck. And then we'll continue on with the Wheel and Modified Tour. It goes to Mr. Clean. That's, I think, Rockingham. But since the track didn't exist anymore in NASCAR, they just turned it into like some place in Hawaii. Let's take a look at the standings. Thomas Lewis still leading. I'm not on the first page still. But I am seventh, so that's good. We gained four points on leader somehow. Uh, Bo Phillips is right behind me. I don't like that. And my teammates, Bill Fuller's 15th, so he's kind of moved forward. And Bo Abraham is 18th. Damn. Well, Bo Abraham still sucks. But at least Bo Phillips is still good. I don't know why Bill Fuller has just decided to suck in, in this session of me playing the game. But see you next time. That's that and episode over.